There's a very interesting race shaping up in South Carolina's first district. They're having a special election because the congressman who held that seat, Tim Scott, got promoted up to Senator Nikki Haley, uh, picked him to be uh, the senator from South Carolina when Jim DeMint stepped down and uh, decided that he was going to head the Heritage Foundation. Uh, by the way, profiles and courage there. Instead of fighting for his Tea Party principles, he goes to go get a, a big fat paycheck from Heritage Foundation. So we've got the Democratic primaries and the Republican primaries to see who's going to get that U.S. congressional seat. On the Democratic side, well, uh, Elizabeth Colbert Bush had a bit of an advantage because of her brother, honestly, who happens to be Stephen Colbert. Uh, he did some press for her and she got good name recognition and honestly she was running as the guy who kept uh, running in that district with not very much success. So it turns out Elizabeth Colbert Bush has won with just a razor thin edge here. She only got 96 percent of the vote. So slightly cr crushing victory. So that's very clear on the Democratic side. Unbelievably on the Republican side so far the person with the lead, the plurality in the voting is Mark Sanford. Mark Sanford, yes, that same guy who said he went onto the Appalachian Trail instead went and had an affair with his mistress in Argentina. On the taxpayer's dime, by the way. The unmitigated gall of the so-called reporters, the Associated Press covering the story, says Mark Sanford is known for being frugal and spending the taxpayers money wisely. What? <laughs> he spent the taxpayers money to go have an affair with his mistress. Uh, but when it came to, of course, helping the citizens of South Carolina, well that's where he was frugal. That's where all of a sudden he believed in fiscal responsibility. And he ran his entire campaign on fiscal responsibility that he would bring that to the, to the Congress. Man, they got some balls on him. They really do. I can't believe this guy's back in politics. Not only that, he won. Now look, there's going to be a runoff because he didn't get a majority of the vote, so they'll have another round here versus the uh, second vote getter versus Mark Sanford. So he's not a shoe in yet. And remember, that district is Mark Sanford represented it before. Tim Scott is massively conservative. So the Republicans have a huge advantage there. So Mark Sanford getting back into Congress is a very good possibility at this point. The only thing that can stop him is Stephen Colbert's sister. Unreal, unreal. So what does uh, Mark Sanford say about his past? First of all, he did an apology to her. Oh, well, then everything's all right. But as he started his campaign, he said, I'm done apologizing. He's a Republican. So that's it, I'm done with it. Yeah, yeah I had sex with my mistress. Yeah, I broke up my uh, multi-decade uh, uh, marriage. Yes, I believe in family values. Yes, I spent the taxpayers' money on it, and yes, I believe in tax spending the taxpayers' money wisely. It's insanity. And then uh, he explains, well, look, his uh, comeback is both a treat and a blessing from God. Well, God does work in mysterious ways. You know, if you're got, uh, gay, according to the Republicans and the right-wing conservatives, God hates you. But if you actually destroy your family, <laughs> if you actually destroy your family values and you leave your kids behind and you leave your wife behind and you lie to you, all the people that you know, all the people that you represent and you use their money to do it, well that's a treat and a blessing from God. Works in mysterious ways if you're a Republican. And then he also said, quote, we all hope for a second chance. I believe in a, believe in a God of second chances. <laughs> well, isn't that convenient? You know, all the people they hate on, it's not just the gays, the liberals, everybody that they disagree with, no second chances for you. God hates you. God is on our side. He votes our way all the time. I destroy my family. I'm the world's biggest hypocrite. It doesn't matter. God, all of a sudden, it's a God of second chances. God of second chances. And amazingly, I don't know which God that is, but apparently he does exist because Mark Sanford definitely has a second chance. And he might, somewhat miraculously, get back into Congress. But the real miracle here is the hypocrisy of the Republican voters. How they don't care about family values either. They don't care about guys who destroy and pulverize their families and lie to them and misspend their money. All you gotta do is put an R next to the guy's name there. I don't care, yeah, I vote for him. <laughs> you don't believe a word of it. You're just 
BS team players and you'll vote for whoever's on your team and you'll bow your head. You're embarrassing. I hope that Elizabeth Colbert Bush kicks the living crap out of them.